Hey, what up, guys? It's Grim, and we are back with the Sword of Asumi. That's right, kids. We are back. Last time, you know, honestly, I haven't edited the last episode yet, and I'm kind of drunk, and I was drunk when I recorded it, which is double whammy. So, in all honesty, I don't really remember what happened. I think we accused people of being Raven. Oh my god, fucking Minako! She shoved her tongue down our throat! That was totally out of the blue. Uh, I think we said something slightly flirtatious with her, and she was just like, ah, and just lunged with her tongue forthwith towards our face. And there was no dodging it, okay? That's what happened, and now somehow we've ended up in this situation where KG is on the right, Kaori's on the left, we're in the middle, and shit's about to go down. That is the fact of the matter. Right meow. Let's find out what's about to happen. What's about the blue shing? Oh, uh, KG, have you met Kaori yet? Ooh, not for me, no. It's wonderful to meet a friend of Asumi-san. I... I, uh, uh, yeah, you too! Asumi tries to smile, but it's difficult when her mind is racing so quickly. Keiji is in the presidential squad. In fact, he's the president. What does this mean? Keiji, did you go home yesterday? Oh, yes, I did! Asumi's eyes widen. He was out of school when the attacks happened. He has no alibi. Holy fucking shit! Oh, yeah, a bunch of kids got killed. That's right. How, how did I forget about that? I feel like I'm so caught up in the romance aspect of this game, I completely forget that people are fucking getting murdered. Well, that's the truth. That is the truth that's happening. Also, I am drinking more beer. I think it's safe to say any episode of this that I play, I'm drunk for, and I am about... I have to count how many be I'm almost done with this. I'm about five beers deep. So it means we're good and ready for this shit. Oh yeah, I'm gonna drink the remainder of this motherfucker. Oh yeah, reach into my box and grab the next one. Mm. There we go. But that is correct, assuming me. That is an astute observation you have just made. This uh, KG uh, son of a bee who has a, a samurai wit about him uh, was conveniently... Uh, not around when all the killings happened. No alibi. Hmm. Raises an eyebrow. Towards his actions. I'm wondering what he has to say about that. Asumi! Are you feeling okay? You look funny! I mean, funnier than usual! Mr. Sakamoto? Who the fuck is Sakamoto? Okay, let's get started. Now, I am aware that when it comes to Atarian firearms, will samurai prefer one over the other? That's why I'm letting you choose your own weapons. Oh, oh God! I love archery. Uh, I am a gunman myself. What about you, Asumi? I would rather use a firearm because archery is a dated thing. Um, any proper fucking assassin in the modern age would prefer a firearm over archery, unless doing stealth kills. But even then, you'd probably use a crossbow. And even then, it's the thing called a suppressor. A silencer to most, but gun nuts call it a suppressor because they're nerds. Whatever. I'd rather use a gun. I feel more powerful when I have a firearm! Alright, grab your weapons and send 50 paces from the target. You'll have to show me how you know the proper technique for the weapon of choice. Assuming he raises her gap. Here goes nothing! Close one eye. Oh. Uh, oh. Wait, he said 50 yards, right? Well, it's a little factoid. Grim was in hunter safety. Now, there are two um, s ideas or uh, schools of thought when it comes to this. Uh, supposedly, you get better depth perception if you keep both eyes open. What kind of gun are we shooting? You see, this is the fucking shit. I, they're asking me to make these decisions, but they don't give me the details on these situations. Like, if I knew what kind of gun we were shooting, and if we had a scope, if we had a sight. What, what kind of sight do we have? I don't know what sight we have, okay? If we had a fucking scope, I'd use one eye. It's fucking simple. If it was a, a hard. or a, 
uh, iron scope or an iron sight, I'd use, I'd probably use both eyes. It's hard to fucking say. If I had a laser sight, I wouldn't give a fuck because I have a laser sight. Uh, I mean, I, I'm gonna use one eye. Assume he closes one eye. And aim using the weapon sights. Well, what the fuck else are you gonna use? God damn it! She carefully aims using the simple sight mix. So it is an iron sight. Well, I would have known that. I would use both eyes. I thought we had a fucking scope. I don't know what kind of fucking gun we're using. God damn it! <laughs> now time to release. Breathe out and fire. No, you hold your breath and then fire. That's how you do it. Assume he takes a deep breath, holds it, and fires. After firing, the shot misses the mark. Well, fucking eight. Game. Not very happy with you right now. I'm a little rusty at this. I'm better with a knife. At least you were close. Well, we don't have to worry about any assassinations anytime soon. What do you say that, KG? You don't have to worry about any assassination. Maybe because you got them all done yesterday? Hmm. Stroking the beard right now, looking at you all cockeyed, KG. I think we're sleeping with the enemy, Azumi. My god. We went on a picnic with a fucking assassin. Granted, he could say the same thing about us, but still! We are upfront about it, sort of. He is not. <laughs> his expression is playful, but there's a hard edge to his eyes. This motherfucker's raven. The students continue to take in the turns, switching guns and firing. As expected, KG hits the mark perfectly every time. Kerry also does well with the bow. Alright! It's a little stop before one of you is hospitalized. Haha, <laughs> that's my joke. Finally, I'm starving. <laughs> it was very enlightening to see how you handle weapons to me. Um, thanks. I wasn't very good. I think that was an insult, you dick. What's that supposed to mean? You, you're an outspoken one, aren't you, Kaori? Well, I'll be taking my weaver now. Have a good day, you two. I'm not sure I like you much. Well, I'm beginning to think the same thing. Come on, there's an Udon special in the cafeteria. Let's go! Aw, we're gonna have to talk to that weird cafeteria lady who talks about sloppy joes all the time. That shit's just weird. Ah, so much relaxing. I've been to the pool, the beach, biking. When we go biking, walking. Reading? When we read. I don't recall reading or biking. I recall walking. Whatever. I'm not used to so much free time. What can I come up to with to waste some more time today, I wonder? Oh, shit. It's fucking sad. She is gonna do some passive-aggressive bullshit at us, because that is what she does, okay? She has it out for us. I can already tell, all right? She's like the pretty valley girl that is like the hot shit in the school, and we're like the super hot goth girl that's swaying all the boys her way, and she's getting super gels, and now she has to take it out with her passive-aggressive bullshit, with her, with her smarmy fucking smile, your fucking fake ass face. God damn it, Sin. I fucking hate Sin. I won't lie. I fucking. I fucking hate Sin. Knock, knock. Sin! Ooh! Hi, Sin, man. I was wondering if you wanted to come to the mall with me today. <laughs> I love the mall. You fucking would, Sin. Oh, I? The mall? Can we go to Hot Topic? It's never fun shopping alone. Of course we can go to Hot Topic. If you want to look ugly for the rest of the day. Okay, fine, let's go. Um, yeah, sure, let's go to the fucking mall. I don't fucking care. <laughs> sure, that sounds like fun. Really? I was sure that I have to persuade you or drag you out. Great! It'll be just like the girls. Come on, let's go, you batch. Sammy <laughs> follows Sen out the door with a smile. Happy for the opportunity, Sen is a member of the presidential unit, and that could mean ties to Orochi. Now is her chance to dig up some dirt. Wow, the art money pebble hair. That means we get all the fucking deals. Oh my god, you're such skag. Sammy follows Sen. 
<laughs> she picks up a skirt and examines it. Oh my god, can you see my cooter when I'm at It's so cute though. You should try it on. Me? Why not you? Because I'll be perfect on you, Skeptic. Come on, please. I want to see your cooter. Okay. <laughs> Assume he heads to the dressing room and closes the curtain. She wrestles the skirt on. She hears Sen's voice on the other side of the curtain. I'm glad you came out. I was so running. I have so much work to do. The presidential unit's job is never complete. The presidential squad? I bet you feel a lot of pressure, huh? I guess you could say that. Probably from more than just the administrators, right? I suppose. Now, come on, let me see that catch already, you batch. Assuming he sighs at a failed attempt at information gathering, she sips out gingerly. A snap, girl! Okay, that's the dress. We're having your shirt. <laughs> Whatever, girl, you're looking good. Well, come on, give it a twirl. Assume you look fantastic. I grabbed the top, so you should try on your batch. I think it would match perfectly. Can I just get back in there, you cunt? I need to see this outfit. Oh my god. <laughs> so we can't help but smile and Sen shoves her back inside. She emerges with the top that Sen gives a satisfied look. It's just like I pictured. You look amazing! Really? Oh, thanks. Now you better buy it, you bitch. <laughs> they both giggle like little girls. For the first time in a long while, so he feels... What it's like to be normal. Wow, it feels so weird to be so happy after all those deaths, doesn't it? Oh my god, so many people died yesterday, it was fucked up. But at least the mall is open! This Christ. Well, this is unexpected. You, you know about those? Well, yeah, who doesn't? It's terrible how all those accidents happened. Hmm. Hmm. Can we confide in sin, I wonder? I've mentioned this before, but I love how many options this game gives me. Even if they aren't, like, actual real options that affect the game at all, it gives me illusion of a feeling that I have control over the outcome of this game. Even if it's true or not, I don't care. I just like options, you know what I'm saying? So, the question is... What is Sen's game in all this? Do we suspect her of being Raven at all? Could she be? Hard to say. Our number one suspect is that KG fella. You know what? You know what? Me and Sen, we're having a moment right now. We're shopping. We're being down-ass bitches together. Alright? She see my cooch. I might see her cooch. I don't know. We might make out later. Who the fuck knows? Let's confide in her a little bit, shall we? I don't think those were accidents. The what? Who knows? Something worse. You don't mean... Murder? Sen seems a little too shocked. She was told already, but assuming doesn't like the look Sen is giving her. Anyway, I thought it couldn't get any worse after what happened to the principal. Oh yeah, we fucking killed him, didn't we? Ha <laughs> ha! Fuck yeah, that was awesome. I mean, no one saw that coming, right? Well, I did. Ha 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 ha. Uh, shit. You know, I can't help but think that Sen, like, anything we put confiding to Sen may come back to haunt us later? No, I know I realized I said earlier, like 10 seconds ago, that let's confide in her a little bit, but let's not confide too much in her. Alright? Dude may have been a pervert, and he may have deserved what was coming to him, but we're gonna just say it's a horrible shame. Alright? Let's just be as, uh, uh, as, um, What's the word I'm looking for? As vanilla about this as possible. It's such a shame. I really like Mr. Konishi. Oh, I did Really? Why? He, he just really knew what he was doing, you know, in the bedroom. Could Sin have been one of his girls? 
Or is it something worse? Well, I hope Miss Nagai rises to your occasion. What do you mean by that? She has some big shoes to fill, that's all. Anyway, we should go bed back because it's getting a little late. Come on, let's walk together! Oh my god, I can't believe your coach is so good! His <laughs> son takes Asumi's arm and leads them back to the school. Asumi's head spins. What was with that interrogation? That wasn't really... I've had very worse interrogations, Asumi. I was just playing the Game of Thrones, the Telltale Game of Thrones game. So, I'm pretty accustomed to the old interrogation at this point. That was, uh... Yeah, that wasn't bad, by any stretch of the imagination. Did Asumi slip up and let on too much? Does Sen think Asumi is a rebel? Or is Sen actually... No, I don't buy it for one second. Today I left more questions than answers, but Asumi is determined to solve the mystery. I'm pretty sure KG is a suspicious motherfucker. Sin? I'm not getting that. Not buying the Sin has anything to do with these killings. I really shouldn't have slept in today. It looks like, yes, all the classes are full except one. Well, looks like I'm taking. Wh wh what? Swimming in samurai armor? What the fuck kind of class is that? Are you fucking for real? Uh, swimming in armor? That's how you die. <laughs> okay. Uh, for real. That shit's heavy, and uh, swimming in it? Not advised. Ever. Okay, you usually avoid it like the plague. You either take it off and, like, I don't know, throw it to the other side or something, or just not do it. Swimming in samurai armor, really? In in this day and age? How's that even applicable? This school is so fucking whack. What what even is that? That was my question. I, I guess I should find my swimsuit. I suppose. Sumi arrives. She sees none of the other students are too pleased about the class, either. She spies Minako, Kaori, and Utsuro moping in the corner. Well, at least my bitches is here. Oh, uh, hi, guys. Oh, uh, who the fuck is Utsuro again? Right, oh, love, what brings you a cow to the class of all places? This isn't fair. I felt ill this morning. Uh, hey, come on. Maybe it won't be spap you. Da, da, da. Yeah, never mind. It's going to suck. Mr. F <laughs> I'm trying not to complain about all the characters I have to voice in this game. Because I feel I do that a lot. But I'm gonna complain about it again! God damn it, there's so many fucking characters in the game and I got a voice! Hello, my wonderful students. I'm utterly tickled that two of the initiates have decided to join this illustrious class. Do you think anyone actually chose this class? Maybe that guy! She points to an exuberant young man performing stretches by the water. Kaori giggles. Swimming in samurai armor is the is an ancient and be yet youthful art. Stand bond by thousands of years of tradition. This skill will be useful never. I, for one, plan on entering bodies of water in full armor on a daily basis. You're joking, right? Usuro and Minako can't contain the burst of last. I thought so. Mr. Tashiro gives them a pointed look before continuing. I believe in letting the fledglings fly on their own. So today you'll be donning full armor and hitting the pool. Um, is that a little dangerous? We could drown, you know, public safety and all. Only if you fail. Oh, well, that makes it okay. You st stupid son of a bitch. With a joyous laugh, he removes himself to the sidelines. Oh, uh, who wants to go first? It's zero does. <laughs> uh, uh, what? If, if, if I drown, I'm coming back to haunt you all, you scummy bitches. <laughs> he tugs the armor on and waddles to the edge of the pool, looking a bit like a tortoise. Assuming he has to stifle another giggle. Air goes nothing, loves Geronimo! He jumps in and immediately sinks like a rock, of course! Usuro! 
They all rushed to the pool's edge and peered into the water. Usura was desperately trying to perform a half walk, half swim, but the armor pins him to the bottom of the pool. Well, no fucking shit. Nobody saw that coming. <laughs> we'll, we'll have to hoist him out of there. Assuming Kiro or not, the three of the reach, the three of them reach into the water. Assuming feels his shoulder and grabs on tight. Ready? Heave! The three of them throw all their weight into it, and Azura slowly emerges. He sputters and coughs up water as they drag him onto the deck. Well, that the ghost plan loves Jane Corp Blimey! <laughs> Excellent work, Azura! You'll get it next time! Really? Really, man? Really? Because the dude almost just drowned. You gonna have the rest of us do it now? Because, uh, double birds of that, I don't give a fuck, okay? My life is more important than passing this class. So I'm gonna say to you, you son of a bitch. Next time! Assume me, why don't you try it out next? Me? Oh, well, I, um, I'm, uh, allergic to samurai armor! <laughs> Good luck, Assume. If you, if you days about the bath, I'll be on that, okay? <laughs> Come on, come on, get the armor on quickly! Psst, Sui! Huh? I received some cosplay items! I was thinking we could try them on tonight! This probably isn't the time to talk about that! Why not? Well, I'm busy getting the armor on for this. Besides... Besides? Well, I'm not really into cosplay yet! Keyword yet. Assume me. We're gonna get into it because you know what? You know what? We did not. We have not been showing Kaori enough love. Okay, as a potential love interest, we need to show her some love. I girl, so I'm saying. Oh well, some things would look good on you, I think. How about if you come over tonight and I will take your place now? Pardon? I'll take your place now if you join me later in some cosplay. <laughs> Well, if you're gonna offer me up a deal like that, well, shit, girl. I fucking do it. Wait. All right, quick before. F yeah, yeah, do it. <laughs> yeah, send me quickly. Passes the armor over to Kaori, watching as Kaori steps to the edge. Okay, Ori, you first. Yes, Sumi's a bit squeamish, so I thought I would save her. Very good. When you are ready, then have fun drowning. And with that, Carrie jumps in. Whilst on the floor, she tries to push off the f and flails around. After a moment, she's hauled out, much like Asura was. Spitting water on the floor, she sputters mouth to mouth. Well, it was worth it. You coming back now, then? No? Yeah, now Mr. Fiori is occupied with the enthusiastic boy. Time to jump ship. Fuck yeah. I am with you, Carrie. Oh, okay, I guess. Good. Quick, before someone notices us. Good fucking call. Let's fucking cosplay it up. I don't give a fuck. Can I be? I want to be. I want to be Mikasa from Attack on Titan. Oh, assuming you'd be such a good Mikasa. You got the attitude, girl. You, you could tell. Totally, all you have. Okay, you need a bit more. You need to be a bit more flatline in your um in your uh, personality in order to be Mikasa because she. Okay, assuming you're a killer, but Mikasa. She a giant killer, literally and figuratively speaking. All right, you're not quite at her level yet, but if you cosplay, you might just get there. That's all I'm saying. Okay, I got three costumes for you to try on. Okay, Ori, I don't know about this. Yomi, remember, I could have drowned for you. Carrie puts on her best puppy as clutching a pile of clothes. Assuming let's out of sight. Assumi, come on. Okay, fine. Ha! Awesome! Okay, put this on once. Kaori, just do it! Strip! <laughs> I fucking love Kaori. She's great. What is this? <laughs> oh, we got a G for that. Fantastic. What are you, a, a cat maid? <laughs> I love it. Uh, um, wow! You look hot. This looks ridiculous. Well, I'd scratch your ears anytime. Intent, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Let's take it to the bedroom. 
I'm just joking! Except I'm not! Can you tell? I don't know myself! Let's try on something else! Kyori performs an exaggerated wink. Sumi finds herself smiling. How could you not? Kyori's hilarious. I love Kyori. Okay, okay. What's next? What do you mean? You said there were three! But it's so soon we haven't enjoyed you in them yet! Enjoyed you in them yet? What are you getting at, Gary? Are you gonna stick your tongue down my throat? Because apparently it's fair, it's open season for that. Minico did that yesterday, alright? But whatever. Pardon? Alright, alright, let's try a sci fi one! Ah, that's not bad. Oh, you're, you got the shooting goggles. Maybe that would help you in your shooting. Actually, if I knew what gun I was shooting that would help in the shooting, I'm still bitter about that. Anyway, looking good, girl. Looking good. I like the belt there. Yeah, yeah, accentuates the hips there. It's looking good. Looking good, girl. This one seems strangely familiar. Oh, it's from a super awesome game! Was it... Sort of a Sumi? <laughs> no, it wasn't, because... We have not been doing any sci-fi things, and that that would be ridiculous. Maybe it's a reference to another game the dev of this uh, game did? Maybe? I don't know. Oh, I see! I made this especially for the game! It's called... Never mind. Oh, alright! Alright, one more time, yes! I have a choice? No! <laughs> Come on! You look so good in this one! What's this one? I don't understand what this one is. This is just the show off your jugs one. Hey, this one is pretty comfortable. Okay, now pick your favorite and we can go show off! What do you mean? You said you would cosplay with me! And I have? We still have to go outside and have some fun with our new bar sodas! Outside? Of course outside! But I will have mercy on you as you're new to this. Just one outfit! Today! Now pick one! Um, cat maid. <laughs> cat maid it is. <laughs> Drink into that. Great choice. I'll meet you outside in five minutes. I wonder what Kaori's going to wear. What am I thinking doing this? I feel like a fool. Girl, you looking hot. You're a maid and a cat. That's like... A terrible combination, to be perfectly honest, because usually cats make the mess and maids clean the mess. Maybe that's a good combination. Or it's a perpetually mess-making combination. I'm not sure. It depends on when you show up to said area you're supposed to be cleaning up slash messing up. I'm not sure. I'm delving way too deep into this. Let's see what Kaori's wearing. <laughs> you're the cat business lady. <laughs> May I serve you some tea, Miss Meowington? <laughs> Kaori fucking kills me. I love Kaori. <laughs> Assume he snorts with laughter. I love it. We're both cat themed. This worked out perfectly. Only I can dust your mantle, Lady Whiskers. Dust my mantle? I like the sound of that. Kaori. Gary laughs and winks. I wasn't expecting you to. I can let you have all the fun. Do you like my matching butler outfit? Oh, you're a butler. I thought you were the lady of the house and we were serving you. It was gonna, like, devolve into some sort of roleplay sexual adventure. <laughs> One can only assume that's where cosplay goes. <laughs> or am I just the typical male? I might be. Anyway, one with our tail. Yeah, that's cute! We're getting some strange look! Probably because your jugs is hanging out, Asumi. But you wanted that. I know you wanted them looks, girl. They're just jealous! Come on, let's start grooming each other and meowing! Really? <laughs> okay, that's the awkward threshold. Okay, we can't start grooming each other in public <laughs> and meowing. Okay, I'm done with the meowing. I will meow in public. I don't give a fuck. Meow! Gary moves behind Asumi, pretending to groom her. Meow! Stop! I can't take this! Gary moves in close. Pet me and I'll purr! <laughs> Let's do it. 
<laughs> I'll pet you anytime, baby! Carrie grins and runs a strand of Asumi's hair through her fingers. Let's get back inside for someone calls the instructors on us! Laughing, they head back to the dorms. <laughs> oh my god, that was redunculous. Well, I have to say, this day was strange, but Kaori certainly made it fun. She did. I like Kaori. The whether I will let her put me through that again is another matter. Hey, I finally get a choice for my class again. No swimming in armor. Mm, my choices are melee weapons training or traditional music. They both sound interesting. Which one do I pick? <sighs> Here comes the inevitable thought process Grim goes through when choosing a class to pick. Alright. Usually it boils down to, do we need killing proficiency today? And the answer is maybe, but we're also an artist, okay? We can't just kill for the sake of killing, we kill for inspirato, alright? Not only do we kill, we write a ballad about how we killed and why we killed, because who we killed had to be written in such a way in order to be artistic, alright? We need traditional music, motherfucker. I love music! Good for fucking you, Asumi. Oh my god, have you ever met anybody that isn't into music? MIND-BOGGLING! Okay, Grim is passionate as fucking shit about music. When he runs into someone that has no fucking opinion about music, it boggles the mind. I don't even know how to compute that shit. But that's fantastic to know, Asumi, that you love music. This will be interesting! Aw, oh, snap, it's Minako. <laughs> Itsura and Minako sit together at the front of the room, both waving her over. Well, I should have known I'd find you two here. Well, love, I thought about setting up for swimming again. They all laugh. <laughs> you almost drowned. That was funny. Uh, if I ever, uh, I never have to jump into a pool, got me too soon. Why? I think I still have chlorine in my nose. It's probably traveled into your brain by now, love. Oh, <laughs> jolly good, cup of tea then. Uh, is this someone new? I don't know this voice. All right, class, let's begin. I'm absolutely ecstatic. So many of you chose to hear your music, get your vacation, music enriches all. We're gonna play the ocarina, the song of time. First of all, learn Zelda's lullaby. I, I've played one of those before, in that one game with the kid in the green dress. The <laughs> same, simple enough. There aren't many holes, so it should be easy to play. I've been known to play some holes sometime. In you had no intended. <laughs> I remember that time we made out, assuming that was hot. Well, it doesn't sound easy to me. I thought we'd just be listening to music. Assume me. What the fuck are you talking about? Get on that bass, girl. But hush your glass, these are the notes you should play. C A D F E F Just play Zelda's lullaby. Did you like that? Grammy, please. Oh, thank you, thank you. I'd like to thank all my fans, uh, uh, everyone who supported me. I'd like to thank God. Above all else, and uh, thank you for this reward. I will use it as a back scratcher because I can't think of anything else I would use this piece of shit for. <laughs> Grim boots out! That's how Grim would accept any reward he had ever gotten, ever. Holla! <laughs> well, I play. Sumi, dot, dot, dot. Oh, dear Sumi, you haven't played before, have you? Uh, no. I thought not. You didn't hit a single note, and you didn't keep time. Girl, you didn't hit any notes, and you don't got rhythm? I think music might have been a bad choice for you, or it might have been a good choice, because you don't know shit about it, and you could learn. Perhaps this is a good opportunity to learn. I don't think you will be marching in formation anytime soon. 
Marching? Music is used to keep those marching in time. I am more of a loan. I'm sure you are. Why would you choose an advanced music class if you can't play? No one fucking told me this was advanced music. I thought this was music 101. They didn't put the, the class number afterwards, okay? They were just like, music or melee weapons. And I was like, okay, I know melee weapons. I kill people constantly. And I don't know music, so I should learn how to make music so I can make ballads about how I kill people so much. Okay, it's called being a warrior poet, you Philistine fuck. Okay, get with it. It's called the arts. It's called fucking literature. It's called being awesome at what you do. And then fucking sending that message of awesomeness to the public so they can be inspired to do awesomeness themselves. That's how art works, you fucking cunt-ass Sakamoto piece of shit. Fuck you! God damn it. All the shit said was traditional music. I assumed it was a class to learn and appreciate. That's what I said to Sumi in a long tirade. You put it a lot more eloquently than I did. I called him a cunt. <laughs> well, uh, mm, uh, Get out of here. Right, class, let's show Sumi what you can do. God damn it. Can we murder the instructor? Can we murder him? Just listen and enjoy Sumi for today. They're playing the intro music. <laughs> I want to point that out. They're playing the intro music, which is awesome. I, l I like that taste, by the way. I I'm liking it. Well, that's enough for today. Let's go before I have to listen to this song because I love it so much. I have confidence, though. You have a great day. Oh, and Asumi, thank you for coming by. I don't think this class will be right for you when you... Uh, fuck you, buddy. Oh, I understand. Sorry for wasting your time. And I'll see you later tonight when I stick a knife in your jugular, you bitch. Uh, okay. Uh, I'll see you then. Later. I hope uh, you like that play, girl. Uh, yeah, it's not often we get to play in front of someone and going, Oh, man, Sumi. Oh, we just look like an asshole. Oh, man. No one told me this was advanced music. Damn it. <laughs> Whatever. You were all... You were all very soon. Thank you. It was good. Anyways, talk later. I'll uh, see you later, Sumi. Just so... Today was sure eventful. I'm looking forward to just getting in bed and passing out. Although, I haven't slept much lately. My mind keeps racing. That's a Raven, Orochi, the student attacks? I need to have a solid lead, and quickly! Sumi climbs into bed, then freezes. What was that? A figure flashes past the window, then another. Sumi rises the window and peers out. They're dressed in black! I smell trouble! I can't just sit around and not do anything! With a sigh, she pulls her shoes on, still in her pajamas. She also grabs her cloak. Time to do what I do best! Murdering bitches! 